The saying goes, you need to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. But what happens when you crack a couple hundred eggs to make a bloody omelet? The plan is simple. The plan is simple. My cousins are gonna throw all these eggs at me and we're gonna collect the egg batter on this here brand new pristine tarp. And then from that, we're gonna pour that egg batter into this pan and cook. Oh, I stumbled on the last. The plan is simple. My cousins are gonna throw a few hundred eggs at me until I bleed my own blood, which may be impossible, but we're gonna find out. And then from there, they're gonna. Okay, actually the plan is quite complicated. What's gonna happen? My cousins are gonna throw a couple hundred eggs at me until I bleed my own blood. And then all that egg residue will be collected on this here brand new pristine tarp. And then we're gonna pour that egg residue into this pan and make an omelet. Really though, the ultimate question I want to answer with this video is can pure protein make a body built by protein bleed? That's what we're gonna find out. I swear to God, if you hit me in the throat, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll, I'll walk away in anger. Let me just say, I'm only covering my nuts because I want to. No, oh, jeez, protein hurts. Oh my, that 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 really smarts, man. Ow, ow, oh, wow, that was much faster than I thought. It, it, it's it's cold out here. Um, my skin is already primed. It's it, normally I wouldn't bleed. <laughs> Your stomach's already bleeding. Shut yeah. up! Stop! Stop making me look bad on camera. I cut cut this. No! <laughs> <laughs> Was that a lob? <laughs> How can you be that bad, Weston? <laughs> Look at this! It's right on my nuts! It's like directly. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even have words for how bad that throw was. <laughs> they're, they're freezing no, out here. No wonder they're cutting you. <laughs> they're harder than diamond. That, honestly, that was probably the 100% the worst throw you could have done. <laughs> Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. That's what they say. <laughs> it didn't break. <laughs> Stop. Stop dodging them. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> ow, ow. Ow, my elbow. <laughs> Can't you guys just hit me where I expect to be? More, hit? Brian, more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, take that. That was really hurt. Oh, oh my goodness, that really cut your uh, your elbow. <laughs> Eggs are no joke. <laughs> <laughs> that one broke in your hand? <laughs> they hurt so bad! Oh, mine didn't break. Eggs are a deadly weapon! <laughs> now listen, we don't waste anything here on Bodybuilder Versus. I know I'm gonna make an omelet out of this later, but this is quality protein. Oh! <sighs> this is quality protein right here. <laughs> it's delicious. Let's make a deal here real quick, all right? If I catch an egg in my hand, you guys gotta like, share the video, and turn on post notifications. That egg doesn't count. Here we go. Right here in the hand. Ah. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't say I had to catch an entire whole egg. I got the important part right there. So that's a deal, like the video. Yeah. Oh!
aren't going to plan you know uh, we're not really collecting the yolk uh, like we plan to so uh, I'm just gonna hold this pan underneath me and hopefully hopefully it all falls into the pan after it hits me okay you guys are just the worst oh I like that there we go okay <laughs> we got it uh, here we, here we go. go come on come on daddy ow. Ow. <laughs> ow. 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 Ow! Okay, just stop, just stop. <laughs> what is wrong with these eggs? There's a full egg in here. There's a full egg. Oh, we, I mean, we did get a good collection there. I mean, that is going to be a wonderful. Nice. I mean, obviously, we don't want the shell. The texture is, yeah, is really what I'm loving right shell. now. Yeah, yummy. I feel pretty <laughs> sticky. So, just like any other Saturday or Sunday. Stop throwing eggs at me! Ow! Look at that. Pristine egg cracked. We can't waste these. You know, I'm a bodybuilder, so this is a thing a bodybuilder does. They just slurp them up. <laughs> 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 How did they do that? <laughs> oh my god! You jerk! <laughs> that is so nasty. You still have one more to go. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't drink my other one. Yeah, you got a clean plate club, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't! I can't do it! Suck it up, man! <laughs> it's the texture. The, te the texture is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my rage. Did broke. you not mean to do that? <laughs> 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 You cut my stinking finger, dude. Ow. Mmm, yummy. Okay, that knocked the wind out of me a little bit. Um, your omelet's gonna be a, a tiny bit no, on the egg, don't, on the shell side. Don't worry side. about that. Just. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. This is this is fine. Now that's an omelet right there. <laughs> and here's a new segment on the show. It's called hair styling tips for juicy. Now you might not know this, but egg yolk really works as a beautiful gel. Okay? Now you can style it however you like. But mostly, it's the coloring that you're looking for, all right? Look at this. It's beautiful, and it's functional, and people are gonna see you out in public and think, wow, I really wish people would stop throwing <laughs> eggs at me. That's what they would say. And anyways, see you next time on Hair Styling Tips with Houston. Ah, oh, God. You gotta give them a nice, ooh, yeah. That shock of the cold. <laughs> How cold is it? It's fine, I feel fine. <laughs> stop, stop, stop <laughs> me the nuts, man. 
Just do a nice spin. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Man, what is going on? Jesus. Ridiculous. And now, welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Houston. Today, we got a delicious omelet mixed in with a little bit of my own blood for the extra special seasoning okay this is gonna be delicious you're gonna really want to stay tuned for this one so we already collected our eggs into a beautiful delicious pan you know all the special stuff is in there you know special tip you actually want some shell okay shell is a it adds like a little crunch to your omelet okay it's a little trick that I picked up in Costa Rica that not a lot of people know so you're gonna want to turn your oven on extra high you want to cook this thing fast. It's kind of like a like a flash burn, you know? Like, wow, this thing is hot. That's what you want to say when you're eating it, okay? And, uh, you know, that's what I say when I'm making it. Now, if you're doing this right, there shouldn't be a strong odor uh, coming from the... Ooh, that's bad. That is putrid. <laughs> Now this is what you want. Now there's some bubbling happening in the eggs, and that's just the blood rising to the top. That's your blood seasoning rising to the top. Now let's take a, take a look into our seasoning drawer here to really get things going. Step one, garlic salt. Okay, you always need some good garlic salt when you're making an omelet. Sprinkle that in. Okay, that's gonna hopefully hide that blood flavoring, all right? Because you really don't want to taste the blood, you just want to know it's there. All right, now the garlic salt's in. Uh, let's see, a stick of cinnamon, okay? You know what they say, stick of cinnamon a day keeps the doctor away, so you throw one stick of cinnamon in. All right, bam. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, ha, my favorite, dill weed, okay? You wanna see, the thing is, you wanna sprinkle a little bit of dill weed in there, and then it's gonna give you really that uh, earthy, that earthy texture, and you're gonna, you're gonna appreciate that later. Now let's look and see here. <laughs> Yes, of course. Ala, Alawino Jalamequino. Now we're gonna add some uh, Alawino Jalamequino, okay? <laughs> this is a, a really good spice. I, uh, I picked this one up in uh, Mexico, of course. Oh, it's jerk seasoning. I've got to flip it around. That's what Ala, 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 Alawino Jalamequino means, jerk seasoning. So you put some jerk seasoning on this. Okay, it's a uh, jerk seasoning kind of got, it's clumped up, it's pretty hard. All right, jerk season and out. Uh, cilantro, how could I forget? All right, you want a little bit of cilantro. Mmm, that's good. Okay, cilantro, and that gives that, remember, once you want that earthy texture, uh, uh, one bay leaf or two. All right, <laughs> now it may look like this is easy for me, but I assure you, this is, uh, it needs the utmost attention when you're cooking, all right? This is not an easy dish to prepare, and it takes the utmost professionalism, all right? Now, as you can see, it's shaping up already to be the best omelet you've ever seen. Now, the question is, uh, what is the smell coming from? This is really stinky, right? So I got my cousin here who is a professional smeller. Uh, he's gonna smell the dish and uh, let us hear his thoughts. Go ahead, Brian, give a whiff. Don't be too impressed. What? Like, hey! Wes, come on in here. He's not professional, but I, uh, go ahead, give it a smell. What do you think? Smells like my mix. <laughs> Mom's a bad cook, dude. So I found some, I found some ground mustard. Now, you might be thinking, mustard in, uh, whatever this is? Ew. But let me tell you, that looks nasty. Now you might be thinking, this omelet's missing some delicious white powder. Well, good news, I got cream of tartar right here, all right? The best white powder around. You sprinkle that on there, okay? And you, uh, mm. oh, oh. it's like sour. That's gonna be really weird in the eggs. And then you got, oh, wow, that's the cinnamon stick in there. Whew. Thanks. This is, uh, this is genuinely bad. <laughs> All right, the omelet's turning out pretty good this thus far. I, I know it might be hard to see in here on account of all the smoke, but this isn't going according to plan, okay? 
Now at this point, you're gonna wanna take your cinnamon stick out. Have you left it in this long? You should've took it out minutes ago, okay? Uh, you don't want that in there anymore because that is just gonna, you know, catch on fire at this point. So get that out of there. All right, and then I think uh, in a couple minutes, this will be ready to eat. Now it might be taking a little bit too long for your eggs to cook, so you're just gonna crank that heat up a little bit. You know, really get the, <laughs> really get the eggs cooking. You know what they say? It takes a lot of, a lot of uh, burning eggs to make an omelet. Oh God! <laughs> That didn't work at all. All right, so now that the fire alarm went off, you know your eggs are done. <laughs> so you can take them off your pan and bone up a teeth. I'm gonna consult my professional plater, my cousin Weston. <laughs> Weston, what should the people know when they're putting said omelet onto plate? When you're putting said omelet onto plate, the key is to tip the pan and scoop. Ah, uh, yes. That's how you do it, right there. Oh. Most people, they, they say to, you know, scoop underneath it and actually flip it onto the plate, but yeah. that doesn't work. Which you, you really just gotta scoop it out. Yeah. Because we don't like uh, hard omelets. We like it to just slide down the throat. <laughs> Thanks, Chef Houston. <laughs> you know, I can question your methods, but I can't argue with the results. This looks absolutely delicious. Probably the best omelet I've ever seen. Um, and that's why I like prefer to eat my omelets a tablespoon at a time. You know, you just you just scoop it up and you slap it in your mouth. You know, because this is let me tell you, I've been hungry. Okay, and I love me some protein. I'm not stalling. Okay, I'm not stalling. I'm ready to eat this. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> nah, <laughs> let's just uh, down the old hatch is what the, my grandpappy always said. Really never talked to him, but. No, I just uh, <laughs> bug food yeah, in my throat. Got a tickle in your throat, yeah. huh? Ooh, let me just try that again, huh? Yeah. Problem is, I didn't get a bay leaf. <laughs> I think you just need more ketchup. I think your problem is you're not chewing it up enough. Just drown it in ketchup. No, no, I'm just I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. Listen, you it tastes really good. It tastes really good. Massage? No, I really, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. Just let it slide down your throat and swallow it. Yeah, it's easy. No, dude, it's fine. Listen, I got the bay leaf now. Okay. <laughs> There's shell in it. There's sticking shell. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. See, the problem is I didn't have enough shell. Okay, you see how it's kind of just got a nice little hardened egg inside of it. Ugh. So you, what you want to do is you think, oh, you don't want to eat the shell. Wrong. You just toss the whole shell back. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh! I know what the problem was. <laughs> Wrong utensil. You want a whole spatula full. So you fill your spatula up, and then this is what you do. You're thinking like, that's a lot of, to eat in one bite, raw. You wanna fill your whole mouth, get your everything filled up, all the taste buds, all right, all a couple million of them, all right? You just slide it down like a. It's worse than getting hit. Wow, that was really good. This is what happens, you okay? You're like, mmm, yummy. All done. 
Thanks, Chef Houston. What? Oh, uh, that's the video. Um, what do they do? Like, hey, like the video, okay? That was a delicious meal. Um, as you saw, I enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, and you should slap a like on this video because you thought it was delicious too. <laughs> yeah? Okay, anyways. Uh, comment down below too. What you want to see next? Biden Builder versus or Bro Labs. Maybe I'll cook something else that uh, has my blood in it because that's delicious and cool. And, you know, last but not least, maybe you should subscribe for whatever we're doing here. You should do it. You should do it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.